Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at an accumulation problem with an array in Java. Uh, now the structure of accumulation problems is very similar to the structure of counting problems, um, which I discussed in my previous video. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to that below uh, because that's a good foundation for this video. Uh, so for this video, the method we're going to be working on is um, the sum in range method. Um, it takes three parameters, an integer array data, um, integer low and integer high, and we want to return the sum of all items in data that are in the range given by the two parameters uh, low and high. So generally, you can recognize an accumulation problem because it follows this basic structure uh, where we're given some criteria. Um, we're asked to add together or maybe multiply together all of the items in an array that meet said criteria. And then at the end, we want to return um, the value of all of the items that were added or multiplied together. Um, so let's go ahead and start by writing some pseudo code so we can figure out a general structure for how we're going to approach this problem. Now the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to obviously initialize a variable that's going to hold our um, total as we calculate it in this problem. Um, and since we're uh, calculating a sum, obviously the value of that sum will begin at zero. Um, before we've added any values to it. So we'll initialize um, a variable total and it will start with a value of zero. Uh, next, we're going to need to look through each item in our array. And then if that item falls within the given range, we're going to add the value of that item to total. So we'll say examine each item in array and we'll do that using a loop. Um, and then we'll say if current item is within range, then we want to add value of current item to total. Uh, eventually we're going to reach our end condition and uh, get to the end of our array. We're going to exit our loop. And finally, at the end, we're going to return Total. All right, so now we can go ahead and get started with writing um, our actual method in Java. Now before I start, the first thing that I'm asking myself is, okay, so we're given the value low and the value high, um, and we're asked to find all items in the, the array that are within the range given by the two parameters, but what this uh, task here doesn't really specify is it doesn't tell us if we're looking at the range as uh, being between low and high inclusive or exclusive. In other words, are we meant to be including the values low and high um, in our calculation of the range? So the way that maybe we can figure this out um, since it's not made clear from the problem, is we can have a look down here at our JUnit test. And often if you do this, it'll give you a much better idea and clear up any confusion you might have regarding how to approach the problem. So if I just take a look here, for example, I can see that this test here, uh, assert equals 190 sum in range, this array with a um, value 10 for low and 90 for high. Um, so here we have an array with four items. Um, 10 is the low end of the range. 90 is the high end of the range. Um, and I can see here that if I add up all of these numbers together manually, uh, 10 plus 70 is 80, plus 20 is 100, plus 90, 190. Um, and then I look over here, it says, oh, well, if I... Um, pop all these parameters into sum in range, I expect to get 190. I can now see, oh, okay, so therefore for this method, um, we're looking at the range as being from low to high inclusive. Since in this case, we can see that we have included um, the values 10 and 90 in our calculation of the range. All right, so now that I know that, that's going to help me to write my method correctly. So we can go ahead and start with this um, using our pseudocode as a guide. 
Um, so first we'll initialize a turtle to zero. Um, we'll go through each item in the array using a for loop. So we'll say for i equals zero, i is less than data dot length, i plus plus. Um, and then we're going to have our if statement and we're looking to see if the current item is within the range from low to high. So we'll say if data i is greater than or equal to low, and we know now that it's greater than or equal to because we checked to see that um, we're looking at low and high as, um, we're looking at the range as being inclusive of low and high, so that's why we include that equal sign. Um, or, um, and sorry, data i is less than or equal to high, then we want to add the value of data i to our turtle. So we'll say turtle plus equals data i. Um, we're going to go loop through the array, uh, check every single item, and then at the very end we're going to return turtle. All right, so let's go ahead and run these uh, J unit tests here and we'll make sure that we've written everything correctly. And yep, we've passed the J unit test, so that's great. Um, so that method worked fine. Now, just as an important point, uh, let's say instead of this method being called sum in range, we have a different method be uh, called multiply in, we can't spell, multiply in range. Um, so now the uh, task is asking us to find every item in data between low and high and multiply their values together. Um, so if we look down here in our um, underneath our if statement, obviously we would need to change this to total uh, multiplied equals data i. So multiply the total each time by um, the value in data. But importantly, if we initialize our total to zero, then every time we go ahead and run this line, we're just going to be multiplying by zero, and our total at the end will end up being zero no matter what. So importantly, if you're dealing with multiplication rather than addition, you need to make sure that you initialize your total to one. And now um, that would work if we go ahead and run that as multiply in range. Um, so that's just an important thing to be aware of. Um, I'll go ahead and put that back. All right, so hopefully what you can notice here is that the general structure of an accumulation problem such as this one and a counting problem is very, very similar. Uh, the main difference being is that with a counting problem, you're adding one to a counter each time you find an item in your array that meets your criteria. Whereas with an accumulation problem, you're taking the total and you're, sum you're, you're adding the value of the item in the array to it, or you're multiplying the total by the value in the array. Um, so just to recap, the general structure of a um, accumulation problem is that you're given some criteria, um, you create a variable total or sum or something along those lines, and you initialize it to either zero for addition or one for multiplication. Um, we're going to use a loop to check each item in the array, and then if the current item satisfies our criteria, then we're going to add that item's value to our total or multiply our total by that item's value. Once we've looked at every item in our array, we're going to return our total, and that's it. Um, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, um, and have a great day. Bye.